Cruise News time. Well, we got Carnival saving the day. Saving the day for a family stranded, uh, trying to get home for quite a while. Also, uh, another cruise line completing their cruise restart. Big Disney Cruise Line news. And what, what's the dumbest thing going on in cruising right now? This, this is ridiculous. Uh, cruise news. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome to La Lido Loca. I'm your host, Tony, here with the latest cruise news updates. Well, let's kick it off with this first story, Carnival Saves the Day. There was a family who traveled to Aruba for vacation, and they traveled with their son that is autistic. And the autistic son was able to make the flight to Aruba, but something happened between the flight to Aruba and their return home that he no longer wanted to fly on an airplane. On their return home after their visit to Aruba, he boarded the plane, but he, he really did not want to fly uh, to the point where they had to disembark from the plane. And that started like a month-long journey for this family. Uh, the father went home, but the mother and the son stayed in Aruba, and they couldn't figure out how to get him home. They wanted to try to airlift him home, and that wasn't possible. A lot of things were exhausted trying to get this family home from Aruba. And finally, one of Carnival's partners, Culture City, reached out to Carnival. Culture City an organization that advocates for sensory and accessibility acceptance. Uh, they reached out, they'd worked with Carnival before on those issues. They reached out to Carnival, explained the story to him, and asked if it would be possible for one of their cruise ships to pick up this mother and son in Aruba and bring them home. And that's exactly what happened. So the family went over there on May the 10th. Uh, part of the family went home 14 days later, and then on May the 31st, the Carnival Mardi Gras had a scheduled stop in the port of Aruba, and they allowed the mother and the son to board, and they brought them back to Miami. Once in Miami, Culture City provided a ride up to New Jersey, uh, and uh, the family was reunited. It's a great feel-good story to kick off today's show, and a big ups to Carnival for getting it done. A way to go. Another really cool cruise news story, cruise news story number two coming out of Carnival is the announcement that weddings will be returning to the Carnival cruise ship. Uh, a lot of people have gotten married on cruise ships, but the last time there was an official wedding on a Carnival cruise ship was back in March of 2020. Uh, because of all of the regulations and everything that we've gone through over the last couple years, they cut out the ability to purchase a wedding package through the cruise line. Now you can go ahead and if you're going to get married in September, for cruises starting in September, once again, uh, the wedding team is back in place and you can have your wedding on a cruise ship on a Carnival cruise ship. Uh, again, I know a lot of people have done that. Anybody out there watching, did you get married on a cruise ship or have a significant event like that on a cruise ship? Uh, leave a comment below. Cruise news story number three coming from Disney Cruise Line. An exciting day for Disney Cruise Line as they are now, as of June the 10th, they are the official owners of the Disney Wish. Uh, we talked about it before in the shipbuilding process, the ship acquisition process. There's a whole lot of milestones and one of the big milestones is the handing over of the ship to the company that commissioned it, that has purchased it. And this happened. Meyer Werft was the uh, shipbuilder that built the Disney Wish. And in a ceremony that was held in Bremerhaven, Germany, the ownership was transferred, the Meyer Werft flag was lowered, and the Disney Cruise Line ship was raised. And uh, now they own it. So the only thing left to do is to get that ship over to Port Canaveral. We've mentioned it before. That's going to happen on June the 20th. There's going to be like a media sailing on June the 21st. And then very shortly after that, there will be sailing with paying passengers on the Disney Wish. When you wish upon a star. Uh, Disney Wish. It's, uh, it's tempting. It's very expensive right now. But maybe down the road, uh, it would be cool to see. There, there's a lot of cool like superhero Marvel stuff on there. Disney Wish getting close to being a cruising reality. How about that? Now, cruise news story number four is coming your way, and we have to talk about what I feel is still one of the dumbest things that's going on in cruising right now. But before we get there, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. It's a simple deal. You hit the subscribe, the notification bell. When I post the show every day at 12.15, uh, you will be notified and you can watch the show. Be one of the first people to comment. Be a part of the notification squad. Uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thank you in advance. Cruise news story number four. Holland America Line has completed the cruise restart. 
It was one year ago that I went to the Bahamas to get on the adventure of the seas for the really first kickoff sailings in North America. And now we've seen as these months have progressed, we've had cruise line after cruise line completing their restart and Holland America, the latest one to do that as the Holland America Westerdam has sailed with passengers for the first time in two years. They kicked off their cruise yesterday on June the 12th and that means that all of the Holland ships are in service. Uh, you may know that the Volendam is in service. It's being paid for, chartered by the Dutch government. It doesn't have passengers. It's actually doing relief for Ukraine refugees. Uh, but it, it's still uh, in service. It's you know they're, the government's paying for that ship, so it does count. Uh, the, the Holland America line, their full restart is complete. Uh, that's that's exciting news. We need more stories like this as we continue to push forward into the cruise restart. All right, now let's talk about what I think the dumbest thing that's occurring in cruising right now. Uh, let me play this clip for you. It was sent to me by Darren Wee uh, from Embarkation Day on the Carnival Panorama. Everybody to have checked in at their muster station, like I said. We are waiting for around 700 guests to still make their way to their muster station. The quicker we get to the muster station, the quicker you see the life jacket demonstration. The quicker we get the life jacket demonstration done, the quicker we all check in, the quicker we can start the safety reefing, and then the quicker we can get to vacation. So, if you have not done so at this time, at the request of the captain, please head to your muster station now. So if you don't recognize the voice from above, that's Cruise Director Joey. Shout out Cruise Director Joey. We were just with him a little while ago, and that's really close to the time that the ship is supposed to sail away with 700 passengers still not completing their muster drill. This, they, this is the dumbest thing. The cruise lines have made the muster drill so easy. You have to do it. You have to go to the muster drill. The ship really cannot uh, go start sailing without this happening. And it takes 30 seconds to five minutes at the most. If it takes five minutes, I would be surprised. So please, do not be some loser, no muster drill, lazy, poor cruiser causing disruption for the rest of the community. Just go to the freaking muster drill. I'm not trying to be a hard butt, as it were, but it's, it's your duty to know where to go if there's an emergency. It's important information. <sighs> there's enough going on in cruising right now that we, you know, we don't need a bunch of uh, you know, people not going to the muster drill. 700 people. It's ridiculous. How's it been on your cruises? Have you had these announcements with a lot of people not going to the muster drill? Leave a comment below. Boom, that is your show today. Time for you to sound off. What do you think about these things? And uh, if you're curious as to where I'm at today, I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. And much like Darth Vader sensed Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, in the recent episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm being drawn. I'm being drawn by a force in the universe about a half an hour from here in Leeds, Alabama. It's Bucky's Beaver Nuggets. Gosh, I love Bucky's. I'm going to Bucky's, y'all. Uh, what should I get? Do you love Bucky, Bucky's, Bucky's, Bucky's? Uh, the force is strong in that one. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed the show today. I certainly enjoyed it. Beaver Nuggets. Uh, please hit the like button to show your support. And unfortunately, if you don't hit the like button, I will have to punish you because I, I that's my job. And uh, your punishment is this. Uh, you'll be the first person that goes to the muster drill on your next cruise, but you won't get credit for it. And then you'll have to go to the makeup muster drill where they look at you sternly and talk to you in an auditorium like this. Here's how you put on the life jacket. I wouldn't have to do this if you would have went to your muster drill. That's the way they do it in the makeup. I've never been to the makeup one. I don't know. Hit the like button. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Beaver Nuggets. Bye. Bye.